Well, I was looking for uh, a program that uh, combines uh, chemical engineering as well as with uh, biological sciences at that interface because that's my background. So uh, I delved through a couple of um, pro prospectors at the University of Namibia and uh, it became very clear that uh, UCL is a leader in this particular area. So, uh, and that's the reason I chose to come to UCL. I, I wasn't actually uh, aware of the ranking of UCL at that stage. Now that I'm here, I realize that uh, I couldn't have made a better decision. It's very fascinating to look at, uh, to watch bacteria grow in a shake flask uh, and you see the color that it forms, what the, that the fermentation forms, for instance. Um, that's very interesting. But it's also interesting from the perspective of, uh, you know, that the antibiotics that are produced by these bacteria actually eventually impact on people's life positively because they can be used to treat a variety of diseases around the world and you feel that sense of contentment that you can contribute to human health. That, that is very interesting. That is uh, something that, is very, that brings a lot of contentment. I come from a classical science background, typically chemistry, microbiology. But you know, if you need to produce things at industrial scale, you need to know the engineering principles that underpin these processes. So my aim was to uh, learn the engineering principles being as, as a scientist myself. So I came in this department and they have the MBI program that they offer to all the uh, postgrad students. Now through the MBI program, it's, a, it's very cleverly designed because it turns all scientists into engineers through a series of short modules that you attend and you actually pick up the basic principles that underpin engineering and you learn to, and you, at the end of the day you actually become an engineer. And the, science, and the engineers themselves, they learn the basic principles of biology and microbiology. And uh, at the end of the course, you actually turn the engineers into scientists. So scientists become engineers, and the engineers become scientists. So it's a very, very good program that in a short period of time, you can actually learn the principles that you need for you to become either an engineer or a scientist. Naturally, I would want to plow back. Uh, what I've learned uh, into uh, my community. So uh, I intend to go back to Namibia. Uh, I lecture, teach at the University of Namibia. So I intend to go back, teach, and therefore plow back this knowledge um, into the community again. I have uh, benefited uh, a lot from it. Um, London is um, basically uh, a melting pot of their whole human diversity. You meet so many people from uh, various backgrounds, from the smallest islands to the biggest country that you would otherwise have no chance to meet if you didn't come to London. So uh, that diversity uh, makes one grow uh, on a personal level because of that interaction. But you also grow um, uh, because when you work uh, in groups, for instance, when you have an assignment, Again, these people bring in, different people bring in different perspectives to problem solving, for instance. It's um, interesting to be in London here where the different time periods are reflected in the architecture, for instance, and therefore you grow um, when uh, you reflect on the history through the different stages of human development from uh, 15th century, to, uh, from the Gothic era, for instance all the way through the Middle Ages, through the Renaissance period and the Industrial Revolution. All of this is reflected in the architecture and you see it around you all the time. Um, that, that's a fascinating aspect of studying in London. I'm in biochemical engineering and um, not surprisingly the department is very well equipped. Um, I deal with fermentations and we have uh, from small scale fermenters that are barely 5 litres all the way up to 200 litres fermenters um, and you have all the uh, analytical instruments that you need, the machines that are there. I work with the uh, high performance liquid chromatography which is the HPLC a lot and we have different versions of it in there. Um, so these facilities are very good. Um, you can perform different types of analysis uh, at different scales and there is nothing that's not, that you may need that is not in the department. So it, it's a department that is very, very well equipped uh, for its purpose. Because of my interest in architecture, um, I tend to visit a lot of museums, uh, I visit um, art galleries because I'm an art lover. 
uh, uh, look uh, visit different castles uh, and cathedrals and uh, marvel at the diversity of uh, the architecture again reflecting the different periods you know through history um, I remember having visited Edinburgh Castle in Scotland for instance but I visit many other um, um, architectural buildings here in London and there is no shortage of diversity in terms of that as well. Occasionally I would go to the, um, there are a lot of markets as well, so I go to Spitalfields for instance in Liverpool Street. I tend to also go to um, Whitechapel, there's a market there. Uh, I, I go sometimes also to um, Shepherd's Bush which is also another market. So basically there are Again, there is no shortage of uh, diversity of markets, each one reflecting a different community. Some are Pakistani, others are Bangladeshi, others are African Caribbean, uh, others are typically African markets, there are Polish markets, there are Greek markets, you name it, there are Chinese markets. I tend to visit those because, again, you pick up on the diversity in terms of food, you know, in the diversity in terms of clothing, for instance, and many of the other aspe aspects of human endeavors. The first two years I, I stayed in uni university accommodation, Bernard Johnson House. Um, it was the first time for me to live with uh, people from Saudi Arabia, for instance. It was an interesting dynamic to meet people from a different, uh, with a different uh, religious perspective, for instance. Um, I met people from uh, South Korea, they were people from Iran. I was the only one from uh, Africa, basically. Uh, there were people from Philippines, there were people from Thailand, you name it. So again, it reflects the same diversity that I mentioned earlier, uh, interacting with all these different people uh, from different backgrounds. They would invite you over for, uh, for dinner. And uh, if you ask me now, I've eaten all the Mediterranean food because of uh, friends that were there that invited me over to their place and uh, I ended up tasting all the different types of food. So it was, it was beautiful, it provided an opportunity for growth again, but it's also important in the sense that exposure to different people from different backgrounds um, creates tolerance. When you deal with people who are from different backgrounds, uh, it creates understanding and therefore it creates a room to tolerate these people and uh, it creates tolerance and that's what we need in the world because fear is based on uh, lack of knowledge. One, when one knows something, you tend to remove the uh, defensive barriers that one puts around yourself. So I would advise everyone to really come to a, a, a university like uh, UCL, study in London, expose yourself to all this diversity and so on and grow at a personal level as well as academically. UCL is good. The, di the diversity again that uh, I mentioned that you find in London inevitably is a diversity that you find at UCL in the university being the major university in London. Um, so the university is very diverse, pretty much everyone is represented here. Um, so you benefit again from this diversity. If you work on uh, projects for instance, or you work on a small little assignment, that diversity is reflected within that group. And again that diversity is reflected within the opinions and the perspectives you know, towards uh, solving the problem at hand. So you benefit and learn from the various ways of looking at something and approaching it to solve it. So you can grow um, much more faster, you can grow much more holistically, you know. So you don't just grow academically, you grow at a personal level, but you grow ac academically as well. So it's a sort of holistic growth as a personal, so personal growth as well as getting the academic knowledge.